Ladies, gentlemen, and every magnificent thing between and outside, this is the Envoy of Kairos, back for more Freedom Planet 2. And Can't we're getting into a new town. Carol? I don't know. It's all fuzzy. About time you ladies picked up. Oh, hey, Spade. Spade? That's my name. Don't wear it out. A red scarf. Explain yourself. How did you access our channel? I'd prefer to tell you in person. Maybe in the basement at Goldie's. Can't miss it. All right. We've got a destination and an old friend to help us out. And a lot more of our protagonist's backstory to see. So yeah, the water dragons did live here. Oh, uh, the kids in this game are adorable. Alright, I want to check out a few other places before I go into Goldie's. Oh yeah, I did see you in the city before, didn't I? Oh no, that must be... Wait, what? Okay... Didn't mean to go in there, but whatever. Huh. Some more lore. Long before the Water Dragons came to settle the island, their civilization spanned the seafloor of this world. They were made up of clans of different sea-dwelling races and separated by language and culture. But over time, disparate communities came together in the spirit of harmony and cooperation, forming the people we refer to as Water Dragons. Perhaps due to their biodiversity or adaptability of their bodies, the water dragons were naturally gifted in the field of biotechnology. From tweaking physical traits to specialized genetic enhancements that allowed them to live on land, everything was possible with their science. However, in order to achieve to receive the earth dragon's gifts, water dragons bound themselves to physical homogeneity, putting an end to their wild experimentation. Water dragons venerated the passage and phases of the moon, worshipping our natural satellite in the night sky. Blue moon, blood moon, super moon, eclipse, and Lilith were all observed as major calendar events. The last one I don't know. Exact cultural practices vary, but Lilith moon in particular was celebrated as a night for sweethearts and lovers. Okay. Massive joint venture between Earth Dragons and Water Dragons, the Bakunawa was a space-faring arc ship designed to sail the stars. Key feature of their experimental planet cracker beam, capable of breaking apart matter itself and harvesting the materials to power and repair the ship. Oh, shit. Sadly, construction was halted and then abandoned entirely in the wake of the Water Dragon War. A significant blow to the advancement of space travel. Holy shit. Really? Okay then. Yeah, these look shockingly real. That could be your mother. What did I just find? Oh! Adrian Cordelia, personal. Subject? Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from the Ocean Dwellers. 
A champion of immeasurable power, biologically engineered for war. Oh boy. I don't know how substantial these rumors are, but given their current level of righteous descent, I wouldn't dismiss their ability to craft such a beast. Father is convinced that we've run out of options for dealing with these savages. If that's the case, then there isn't much time left. I have to act without his permission. I will leave the capital and head for Perusa to negotiate some kind of peace with the ocean dwellers. Surely they'll listen to reason. We're all living on this planet together after all. End entry. Oh. Oh, I can see exactly what Master, happened now. How goes the research? I have perused numerous texts about the war, but none of them have mentioned anything about Murga that we do not already know. Got some news on that front. Mm -hmm. I just found a personal audio log from someone named Cordelia, and she was talking about Murga. Cordelia? Princess Cordelia? What did she say? She said that Murga was a champion of some kind. I see. I will look into the matter. You must focus on the imminent threat of Bakunawa. Magister, I think... No, I know where to find more clues about Murga. Truly? Does it not seem odd that you, of all people, stumbled upon this audio log? Mm. Maybe I just got lucky. Or maybe someone is out to entrap you, like Murga. Let us not forget her previous attempt to coerce you. True. Oh, and that was one of the time capsules. Okay. That's a good deal of new information. And this statue was destroyed. By the look of... Yeah, that looks like claws on that statue. I think that one was of Murga. Hmm. Quite the military here. Hmm. Wow, I got a lot of crystals. I can definitely buy a lot of the vinyls I don't have yet. And I bought every one of them was available here right now. How about you? Oh, gold exchange. Well, I can definitely afford to trade a few of these. That'll do. Okay, these two are definite Sonic and Amy references. That guy, the blue one even has a ring on his shirt. And the pink one's wearing red. And this one was using a mallet. Yeah. Tell me about the captain. Oh, so he was from Perusa before he became the champion there, huh? Interesting. Cyclone! Oh. Hmm, reduce the number of crystals you need for a stock. That's definitely a good one. Strong shields. 
Increase the number of hits that elemental shields can absorb. Also very good. Uh, sh pedal armor, I've already seen that one. Shadow guard. Press guard to create a shadow clone of your character that copies your attacks. Oh. Oh, that's nuts. Uh, your attack power increases when you have no stocks left. And you begin the stage with an Energizer Sphere. Honestly, Shadow Guard. I need that shit. And let's go... Oh, right, I was already in there. That's the historical center. Alright, seems I've looked into everything in this city now besides Goldies. <laughs> hmm. Let's head to the basement and see what news we can get. Long time no see. Long time no see! Uh, you haven't met him we yet. We have never met. Are we done? Yep. Anyway, lower your hackles. Your channel's secure. I just got the codec frequency off my brother. I guess Dale heard about the attack, huh? So yeah. he recruited your help. He's doing everything he can to avoid an all-out war with an ancient water dragon. In the meantime, I'm just doing my part to save the world. We do not conduct business with career criminals. Yeah, and saving the world doesn't really line up with your usual interests. Hey, he helped last time. It was either this or helping Mayor Zhao find his champion. And you know me, I like my jobs dangerous. Besides, I've got intel that I think you'll want to know. So what do you say? Hmm. Let's do it for Carol. Yep. What kind of intel? Secret tunnels, strange beacons, the works. These islands are crawling with them. And our newly elected leader of Shang Tu is using them for her plans. Ah! Oh, so she's taken over this city is then. Is that a volcano? I only see smoke, which is good. Hot melty lava would be bad. Not exactly a vacation hot spot, huh? Oh, it's a hot spot, all right. Those volcanoes should be dormant. Plus, a bunch of robots have moved into the region, and they are definitely not friendly. Robots. Sounds like that monkey's friends. We will find out what these extremists yeah. are. Yeah. Crush them at their source. Perhaps you are of some use to us after all, Scar. But don't expect us to owe you anything. Relax. Big Bro's the one foot in the bill. These are the leads I've dug up so far. Huh. Then this diner will act as our headquarters for the interim. We okay. can battle strategies over Olympia! Right. Let's move out. All right, we've got targets, we've got goals. Hmm. Really? Really, Spade? Oh, we have even more for sale now. Hmm. Okay, increasing my jump is a good one. I'll take that. Alright, well, we've got a lot of leads now. And yeah. Go for the difficulty three first Robot Wars, Snake versus Tarsier. Okay. So, Serpent's back. Of 
fight is happening in the jungle nearby. Safe bet it's Carol doing her Carol thing. If it is, I'll sniff her out! Uh -huh. Retrieve her safely, but do not forget what she has done. Let's go. Ah, I forgot to equip my new items. Whatever. I'll kick ass anyway. Hmm. And this is instantly giving me some, uh... Sonic 3 vibes, Angel Island Zone. distance there. Very old wooden chest. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Serpent. You can't hide from me, monkey boy! Return the syntax room to me at once, else my overwhelming power will blow your mind into a million pieces! No way, Ashtray! I found it fair and square! Yeah! Your voice is so annoying! You're both annoying. Just give me the robot! No, your voice is annoying! Prepare to be silent! No, your voice is okay, annoying! Okay, really? And I fire my missile! Well, these two are even more obnoxious when they turn on each other. Oh, god, the number of bots here is really obnoxious. Oh, God. Former bosses showing up as standard enemies now. This fight can work to our advantage. If we surreptitiously aid Serpentine in his attack, we can strike a crucial blow to Murga's forces. But Sekta is a bad man! This is our chance to turn the tide of war. No! Secret way through here. Ah, but I can't jump off of it on the inside. There, destroyed that thing. Again. Oh god. Uh, 
Okay, I'm not managing to do that remotely right. There we go. Okay, there's nothing up there. I just need to find my way down. Oh cool, now I have a ranged attack. Oh god. Oh hey, gold gem. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> I'm invincible. Really? Oh god. You can run, but you can't hide. You're not even trying to hit me, your target is somewhere else entirely. What the fuck are you doing, sir? Just nuking the whole goddamn forest because you can? Oh, that was you. Ow. making catching up with them to do so very easy. Well, oh, did a lot of damage to them that time. Shit. Ow. Okay. bit of damage. I gotta try and time this so I can hit her with it. And then immediately attack. Okay. 
There we go. That was a lot of damage. Got her. Alright, that's one of the crazy bastards in this forest done. Ugh, only a C rank though. That sucks. Whew. Well, I'm gonna have to call this one here. Might be a short episode, but it's been a good one. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Envoy of Cairo signing out. I'll see you guys again soon for another episode. Looks like there's a lot to see around here.